What's up everyone, my name is Nick. Hey, Malaysia is a country in Southeast Asia, home to many ethnicities, beautiful wildlife and a silly amount of food. Now I've lived here for over 11 years and today I will tell you why you should never visit this country. All right, without any further ado, let's just get into it. This is Global Gibbon. Oh. Malaysia has so much rainforest. There are white sandy beaches. There are crystal clear rivers that you can swim at. And yeah, there are waterfalls that you can visit. There are beautiful hikes you can do in national parks. Okay, don't even get me started on the wildlife here. There are orang utan here. There are tigers here in Malaysia. There's even rhinos here in Borneo. And well, even here in Malaysia, you can find the rhinoceros hornbill and other types of hornbills. So I guess if you don't like laying on a beach with a blue ocean, if you don't like swimming at crystal clear rivers, Malaysia is definitely not your place to go. All right, so I've got another reason why you should never visit this country here, Malaysia. Well. This one has to do with visas, right? So Malaysia would offer you a 90 day visa when you come here and they will give that upon arrival. You don't even have to apply for it. So yeah, and then if you wanna extend it, if you wanna stay longer, you can actually extend your visa up to five months. Can you imagine having so much flexibility with your time that you can just decide to do whatever you wanna do? And really, Malaysia is so welcoming, it's so easy to get this visa. You don't even have to do anything, you just have to come and land in Malaysia. And really, the people here, they're so welcoming and so friendly. I mean, can you imagine? Oh, all right, so let's talk about the weather. I mean, it's always warm here in Malaysia. The temperature is always around 30 degrees and really every day the sun will be out. So you never have to wear long pants, you never have to wear a sweater or a jacket. And if you want to eat breakfast, lunch and dinner outside on a terrace, you can because it's really always good weather here. And yeah, unfortunately, every day is a good day to go to the beach or to go for a hike. So I can imagine if you don't like the sun, if you don't like good weather every single day, then maybe never visit Malaysia. All right, this is the next one on the list of uh, the reasons why you should never visit this country, Malaysia. Let's, yeah, let, let's talk about the people. There are so many different cultures here in Malaysia, people with so many different backgrounds and somehow they all live peacefully together here. And really every culture, every tribe has their own unique characteristics that they really love sharing with you. So imagine walking down the street in one of the cities here in Malaysia and people are actually saying hi to you and people inviting you for a cup of coffee for just no reason. I mean, really, if you're not a people person, Malaysia is definitely not the place for you to visit. Okay, so next point on this list of uh, reasons why you should never visit this country, Malaysia, is, well, accessibility. You know, there are only a few hundred flights coming into the country every day. Like, Kuala Lumpur is not even the largest airport in the world. So how would you even get here? And then even if you make it to Malaysia, how would you get around? There are only motorcycles, taxis, trains, bicycles, boats, yeah taxis like this one so even getting around would be so difficult it's all a big hassle to me now even if you want to travel from West Malaysia to East Malaysia you'll have to get on a cheap and very affordable flight and really it's just all such a big hassle here uh, uh. Unfortunately, Malaysia is a very affordable country. You can have a scrumptious meal for less than $3. 
And yes, that includes a drink as well. Accommodation starts at about $15 for a private room and really rainforests and many parks are free. Now, if you wanna go to a bar and you would like to order a beer, you would have to cough up about two to three US dollars for a beer. Now, that's ridiculous. So, if you wanna spend a lot of money on your holiday, then Malaysia is definitely not the place to be. Malaysia is home to many large cities, villages and towns. There are world cities like Kuala Lumpur, Penang and Ipoh. There are seaside villages and cities like Kota Baru and Kota Kinabalu. If you want to spend time in the interior of Borneo with the locals that live in longhouses up on rivers, you can do so here in Malaysia. If you want to spend time on an island relaxing and meeting the local people there, you can do that also here in Malaysia. If you want to go shopping in some of the largest shopping malls in all the world, you can do that here in Malaysia. Hey, if you want to visit one of the largest museums in all of Southeast Asia, well, you can. But then again, who would want that? All right, I did not want to bring this up, but Malaysia has such a rich history. In every larger city, there are colonial buildings, there are museums like this one, filled with beautiful paintings and really old artifacts. Malaysia has various art galleries that really host events all the time, all over the country. Okay, if you don't like music, then Malaysia is not your place to go. Here in Sarawak, there is even a world rainforest festival every year where people come from all over the world to enjoy beautiful music. There are jazz festivals throughout the country and other techno and other parties, festivals throughout the year. Can you imagine sitting in a bar or in a pub and listening to beautiful live music with local instruments? Ugh, I cannot imagine. So really, if you don't like art, culture, history and music, take Malaysia off your bucket list. If you don't like good food, avoid Malaysia. There are so many unique dishes here in this Southeast Asian country. Even if you would spend 90 days here, that means you could have a different dish every single day. All right, now then, even if you would come to Malaysia, you would have to decide whether you want Indian food, native food, a traditional Malay dish, or even some Chinese cuisine. Imagine having some beef rendang or chicken cooked in bamboo. Ugh. If you don't like good food, don't come to Malaysia. All right, so the next one, well, the last one on the list is a very important one because you have to realize that even if you come to Malaysia, you might never leave. There's a great chance that you would never want to leave this country because there's so much culture here. There's so much amazing nature to explore and really the food, oh, you'll never have enough of it. So really, even if you come down to Malaysia for some reason, prepare, to never, never leave. So that is exactly what happened to me. I came to Malaysia 11 years ago and I loved it so much that I never, never left. I'm still here after all these years. And yeah, that, that's really the thing here. There's so much to see, so much to explore that even if I would be here my whole life, I would still not be able to fully see everything that this beautiful country has to offer. I mean, in my free time, I explore the jungles. I meet all these amazing people and really, yeah, I, I don't think I can leave. Well, I hope I have convinced you to never visit Malaysia because you will truthfully have too much of a great time here. Now, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you understand that this was all a way for me to tell you that you should visit Malaysia because it is a beautiful country. Now. Thanks for watching, leave a like and why don't you leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. This is it, this is the end of the video. We'll see you again next week. Bye bye.